This is the telling of a story, my grandfather, a man from a different time in a very different world. He passed away after months of being on hospice care as his chronic illness grew. My grandfather was born with a faulty bicuspid valve in the heart, something unsafe to operate on in 1940s China. It didn't affect him in his youth, so he ignored it, and as age caught up, he had a pacemaker installed, but at that old age, it's hard for anybody to handle. His conditions drastically changed, and at that point, it was too dangerous to consider open heart surgery. My grandparents planned to move back to China last summer in hopes of finding other treatment options there. Bags all packed a couple weeks before the flight, his health plummets further and becomes bedridden. But through all the pain, my grandfather never fails to smile. I feel incredibly lucky to know him like this, to know he was a very different man once. My grandma is sad that we don't have any other relatives in the States. She feels alone in mourning and that there's no one who will cherish his memory. With the unforeseen events of life, my grandfather, whose life began in a different time, a different world, somehow ended up here with us, and I wanted to tell his story. My grandfather was born in Malaysia in 1938, as our Chinese family had immigrated there. In his youth, he independently moved back to China, which at the time is very dangerous and difficult with the government. He became a surgeon, a very capable man. My mother told me she barely had a relationship with him growing up due to his absence and his stern personality. Because he grew up fatherless, he himself didn't have an example to learn from, but he showed his love through his own ways. Being a surgeon in China at the time was tedious and earned very little, so his family was poor. When he would operate on patients, sometimes the family would thank him through gifting him fruits. Fruits were hard to come by and expensive, but he would make sure to save it and bring it home for his family to split. And my mother, as an adult, knew she didn't want to make any decisions she would later regret, so despite a rough childhood, she chose to forgive him and invite my grandma and him to live with us in the States. I never knew him as a stern, cold man. In his old age, my grandfather loved two things, to tend to his garden and eat. Our yard flourished in life year-round, as we'd celebrate his small trophies from time to time, or listen to his stories about those gophers that ruined his squash. I knew him as a simple, smiling man with a deep history, one that I will never clearly know. But it shows me that a life so long and winding can take and change in such unpredictable ways, you can only embrace that and cherish it. I know my grandfather is with God now, free from pain and at peace. One man, a seemingly unremarkable number among billions in this world, has made his impact through his will of living it to its fullest. His life as a surgeon saved so many, and today he leaves behind a family that remembers and loves him. Thank you for remembering him too, for the thoughts, all the prayers. We all pass on one day, and what we leave behind is the hearts and minds we have touched. In my heart, I will always keep the celebration of his life.